In the following video, I'm going to be going through the scale factor and circle summative review. So go ahead and correct your answers, check to see if you did it right, and come to class now with any questions that you can quickly ask, ask and get answered before your summative. First, it says to construct a similar figure with a scale factor of 2. So, before we can make a factor of 2 to the sides, we have to first figure out what the sides are. And this rectangle is, fix that, rectangle has a side of 5 by a side of 3. When it says a scale factor of 2, all we're going to do is then multiply by 2 to both sides. So we're going to have a side of 10 by a side of 6. So we're going to go down 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and over 6. 2, 4, 6. Make our box and color it in. And then on the bottom it says use the figures above to find the base, height, perimeter, and area. Well, we already found the base and height of the original. We have a 5 unit by 3 unit rectangle which gives a perimeter of 16 and an area of 15 square units. Our scaled image has a base of 10 units and 6 units. The perimeter is 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 for a grand total of 32 units. An area 10 times 6, length times width, which gives us 60 units squared. Notice we did label everything, so on your summative, I would label also. Problem number 2 says that your parents decided to replace the flooring in the dining room and the kitchen. The dimensions of the dining room are 10 by 9 feet, so let's go ahead and draw that right away. Dining room, 10 feet by 9 feet. Okay, the kitchen is 1.5 times larger than the dining room. This is the kitchen. And if it's 1.5, we're going to multiply the original by 1.5 to get 15 feet. And 9 times 1.5 to give us a grand total of 13.5 feet and 15 feet. So sketch a drawing, which we already did. Label both appropriately, which we did. And what's the combined area? Well, let's find the area. The dining room has an area of 9 by 10, or 90 feet squared. The kitchen has an area of 15 times 13.5, which is 202.5 feet squared. And our grand total, when we find the combined area, is 292.5 feet squared. And there's our answer. Our next problem is a continuation off the previous one. It says that the flooring costs $20 a square yard. Square yard, not square foot. How much will it cost to carpet both rooms of the house? Remember, one yard is three feet. So we currently are working with 292. 0.5 square feet. So, some things to think about. One yard is three feet. But if we want a square yard, we have a yard by a yard. How many feet are in this yard? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9. So 1 square yard is 9 square feet. Knowing that, if we have 292 square feet, we can multiply it, or not multiply, but we can set up a proportion. 292 square feet is how many square yards if we know that 9 square feet is 1 square yard. You just cross multiply and we can solve. 292.5 equals 9x 
x equals 32.5 square yards. However, remember that's not what the question is cost asking. That's how many square yards we have, but we want to know how much will it cost. So we have to multiply by the $20 for every square yard. So we're going to multiply this by our 20 bucks per square yard. And we're going to end up with a grand cost of $650. This right here, this conversion, is essential to solving the problem correctly. Moving on, we're going into circles now. So here we have to find the area and circumference of the circle. They give us the formulas. Note you will need to have them memorized for your summative though. And we're given that the radius equals 9. So if radius equals 9, we can find our circumference. Circumference is 2 times pi times our radius of 9. And then we get 56.55 inches. Area, pi r squared. Pi times 9 squared, or 81. 254.47 inches squared. In the next example, we have a dog sniffing around the outside of a flower bed all the way around. When he gets back to his starting point, he walked a total of 34.5 feet. Notice what I just outlined, its circumference. And we know the circumference so we can find the diameter. So the formula they gave us is circumference equals 2 pi r. However, we also know that circumference equals just pi times our diameter because 2r is simply diameter. So, since it's asking for diameter, I'm going to actually use this formula over here, but you can use either. We know circumference is 34.5 equals pi times diameter, and when we divide by pi to get diameter alone, we get diameter equals 10.98 feet. And there we are. The third problem now says in the following example of a composite figure, which just means two figures put together, our circumference is 30.82. From this we need to find diameter, area, and perimeter. So we know the circumference is the around the outside of the whole circle, but notice we only have half a circle. So if I want to label this, I need to take half of my circumference, which half of 30.82 is 15.41. Just something to know. However, part A says find the diameter of the circle. Remember, if we're only having circumference, we know circumference is pi times diameter. So let's use this. 30.82 equals pi times d. If we solve for d, we end up with d equals 9.81 feet. And there we have part A. Part B says find the area, find the perimeter. I'm going to start with perimeter since it's a little easier. Perimeter is the outside. So we already have our half circle. We know it's not all our circumference. It's just part, 15.41. If we keep going around, we have to add in that 8 and 6, so plus 8, plus 6, and perimeter gives us a grand total of 29.41 feet. Finally, we have to find area. And area, do it by parts. First, find the area of our triangle. 1 half base times height plus the area of half our circle, half of a circle pi times r squared. Ooh. Well, we know this is the whole thing is 9.81. So then r is 4.91. So 4.91 squared. And when you figure this out, you get 24 plus 37.87, which gives us a grand area of 61.87 square feet. If you have questions, ask, but it's just, if you take it part by part, it's really not that hard of a problem. Now we are working with our pool. We want to build a walkway around our pool. 
have to find the area of the walkway, which means we want the area of just the part I'm coloring with the purple, not the whole thing. We also want to find the outside circumference of the pool without the walkway, which would be just this portion right there in green. And make sure you use 3.14 for pi so your numbers come out nice. We are given that the circumference of our outer circle, or the one way out here, is 50.24 feet. Circumference is not square, so it's just feet. And the diameter of the inner circle is 6 feet less than the diameter of the larger circle. <coughs> well, let's start by finding diameter, because we need to get to radius for areas. So if we know this is circumference, we can say it's pi times the diameter of the big area. And if we solve, we get diameter of the big circle is 16. So from top of the blue to bottom of the blue, that is 16. It says that the inner circle is 6 feet less than the diameter of the larger circle. So if the inner circle is 6 feet less than this diameter, we get an inner circle with a diameter of 10. So the diameter of our actual pool is 10. Now we need to find the circumference of the pool, so the part I have in green. Well, circumference is easy. Circumference, we know, is pi times diameter. We already found diameter is 10, so pi times 10, which gives us 31.4 feet. So that is the circumference of our pool, but now we need to find the area of our walkway colored in purple. In order to do so, we have only two things we're going to subtract. We're going to find the area of everything, or all. We're going to subtract from that the area of the pool. That's going to leave us with just that walkway. So the area of everything, it's pi times radius. Well, if diameter is 16, radius must be 8. 8 squared minus area of the pool, which has a radius of 5. Pi times 5 squared. If you look at my answer key, that's incorrect, but this one is the accurate way to do it. And so we have, when you solve this using radius, unlike my answer key, you end up with a grand total of 122.46 square feet. And that is the area of our walkway alone. Last but not least, we have to write the formulas for circles. Remember, you will need to have these memorized, so I hope you have been practicing. Area of a circle, A equals pi times radius squared. Circumference equals pi times diameter. You can also say circumference equals 2 pi r, because 2 r is just d, so it doesn't really matter. We know that diameter is 2 of our radius, or 2r, and radius is half our diameter. You can also say d over 2, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. However, I hope you have these memorized for tomorrow.